A photographer is calling for charges to be pressed against a security official who pepper sprayed him and another colleague while they were filming near the Federal Detention Center in downtown LA. Happened last night. It was all caught on tape. Bill Malusian joining us live at the jail after he spoke to one of the men. It's a story you'll see only on Fox. And that photographer is what's known as a First Amendment auditor. They essentially go around to different government properties and they film from public areas to kind of test out their First Amendment rights and probe how the government responds. Now, he says that's what he was doing at the federal jail here last night, and it sparked off a confrontation. Take a look. Don't be behaving now. I want your name. Pepper spray and profanity, a sign of a serious disagreement in downtown L.A. As soon as I got sprayed, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't see, I was disoriented. Photography activist Elijah Westbrook was the man behind the lens. They did something wrong. He says it all began when he and a colleague were filming on a public sidewalk outside the federal detention facility. Then a security guard approached. She decided to come out and tell me that I needed to delete my footage. She then grabbed my camera, tried to rip it out of my hands. Westbrook says the guard told them they were illegally filming on federal property and things escalated. This is what, one of the reasons why we're out here doing what we do to show how ridiculous uh, post 9-11 how everybody's scared of cameras. Fellow photography activist Johnny Olson got on scene shortly after the altercation. It's a public sidewalk. I mean, the, pu the public, well, it's, it's a public thoroughfare. To say that it's federal property and you cannot film from there is such an egregious violation of common sense and worse, uh, law. That line of thinking is why a group of fellow photography activists showed up at the jail tonight to show support for their colleagues. They filmed the building from the sidewalk in the exact same spot of the incident to show solidarity. Once one of us gets messed up, we're out there for everybody. Some people want to call us like instigators and, you know, and stuff like that. We're not, man. We just want to ensure that our rights are upheld. Westbrook says responding LAPD officers sided with the security guard last night and that he was briefly taken into custody, then released without any charges. I just want the situation rectified. I would like criminal charges pressed against this guard. Now, as you can see, some of those fellow First Amendment auditors are still out here in front of the jail tonight filming the building, but so far there has not been any type of government response. Meanwhile, Wes Brock tells me that two of his GoPro cameras were seized by security last night and he has not gotten them back and that he was told if he deletes his footage, they would have been willing to let him go. We're live in downtown L.A. tonight. Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.